everybody! So today I will be doing a review on a mascara and this is the new Lancome Grandiose, I believe that's how you say it, mascara and it's such a gorgeous bottle. I wanted to show you it right off the bat. There it is there. It's like sleek black packaging but you can see the little Lancome um, flower kind of hovering in the middle of the packaging on top there. I just thought it was stunning. That's what it looks like and then the box it came in looks like this. And it's called the Grandiose Mascara uh, Wide Angle Fan Effect Mascara. And I was actually sent this by an influencer. If you're not familiar with in what influencer is, I'll leave a link down below. Anybody can sign up if you have a part in social media and you're willing to share your opinion and reviews on things. And they will send you different things to review, just like this mascara. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I did um, film myself applying it on my eyes today. So I'm going to show you guys that real quick and then I will talk to you more about this mascara. Okay, I'm going to start off by curling my eyelashes just like I always do. I decided not to wear eyeliner today so that you could see the full effect of the lashes and how long they are without the um, eyeliner interfering. So hopefully that helps. Alright, and now for the wand. It's a little bit, um, it was a bit intimidating the first time I tried it, but this is the second time I'm trying it. So hopefully I get the hang of it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to start in here by my roots. And as you can see right off the bat, there's lots of volume right away. And as we move towards the middle of the lashes, you can flip the wand over. It just helps get in there a little bit closer and tighter to the lash line. And same thing as you move towards the inner lashes. You just kind of arc it down a little bit more. So I actually really do like the one for that. This takes a little bit of getting used to flipping it around each way, but you're definitely able to get all of the lashes. I'm done with kind of the inner and the top, and I can flip the one back around so that I can get right down here to these um, outer lashes right at the root. Okay, so that is just one coat there. As you can see, it's quite black. Um, it's really giving me a lot of volume. It's actually giving me quite a bit of length as well. I haven't noticed any clumping. It just kind of separates and elongates. I'll show you from the side here. Hopefully you can see okay, but it's uh, definitely lengthened my eyelashes a lot. And for a first coat, I think that looks pretty good. I don't have the most naturally full or long lashes, so for a first coat for me, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. The second eye, for me, it's a bit trickier because I'm not one to switch hands. Um, so it doesn't work out quite the same way. I'm able to get these outer lashes pretty good by going at this angle. But then once I move onto the top lashes, it gets really close to my nose, the wand, as you can see. And if I flipped it over, it would actually hit my nose. So I have to kind of keep it in this position. And then I just kind of use the end of it to pull out the inner lashes. But if you're the type of person that, you know, is comfortable flipping the wand around, then you could do exactly what you did on the other eye. And that is, oh, I'm really not good at this left-handed. Do it that way, flip it around, that way, and then you get in there to those inner lashes. So as you can see, I was still able to get in there and do a pretty good job, just like the first eye. It just was a little bit trickier because I had to keep the wand pretty much in the same position and just kind of pull out the lashes this way. So there's one coat there and I'm going to go ahead back to the first eye and do a second coat. One thing to note is this is actually quite a fast drying mascara and the time it took to do my second eye, this first eye pretty much completely dried. Um, but at least it's the type that you're able to still work with it once it's dry. It's loosening up a bit as I'm going through it and adding a bit more volume which is good. But you might want to do the first eye and then do a second coat right away and then move to the second eye. Alright, and I'm going to move on to my bottom lashes. Because of the shape of the bristles on this, it's a little bit trickier. Oh, you can't see me. Because some of them are longer than others. So you have to make sure like the longer end of the brush is pointed towards your bottom lashes. It's definitely not my favorite for bottom lashes. It takes a little bit of getting used to. All right, and there's the finished eyelashes. Quite dramatic looking, red right on my alley. That's what I look for. Lots of volume, lots of length. 
no clumps. Um, so in my opinion, this is a win. So as you can see from my demonstration, the most unique thing about this mascara is the wand. So as you pull it out, it's kind of snake. You have to kind of turn it as it comes out. It's snake shaped a little bit. It's got a big kink in it like that. And then I'll come in close so that you can actually see the bristles. They are rubber bristles. They are quite short and some of them are longer than others. It kind of goes long, short, long, short. Like I mentioned when I was applying it, the first time I actually went to apply this mascara, it was a little bit intimidating. It took some getting used to because I wasn't sure what angle to kind of hold the brush at. But even after just one application, I learned it really, really fast. And I did really like it, especially for my right eye, because that's the um, hand that I hold the wand in. I like that you could flip it and get it super close to the outer lashes and then flip it over and lengthen the top ones and the inner ones. And you, you didn't feel like you had to manipulate your arm in weird ways and it wasn't getting your face at the same time. Just kind of made it, it was like ergonomically correct. It made it really easy to apply. I have their little info card here, and that's what they're calling the Swan Neck Wand. So ease of application, access to all lashes, which I would agree with, uh, root to tip, corner to corner. I would totally agree with that. As you saw when I was applying the left eye, it's a little bit more difficult than the right eye, but if you're comfortable switching hands with the wand, then it would be exactly the same. Now speaking of the brush, they call this the Elastomer Brush, a high grasping, precise application. Now this is a rubber bristle brush, and if you're familiar watching my mascara review videos, videos, you know that those are not typically my favorite brushes. I don't feel like they grab my lashes enough and give them any volume or length. I feel like they just kind of coat my lashes in mascara. This one out of all rubber bristle brushes so far is my favorite. And I think that it's because it's a lot shorter. They're not super long rubber bristles, if that makes sense. Um, because they're so much shorter, it, I was able to get right in there to the root. And as you saw in the video, it started to build volume right away. So I think the formula of the actual mascara is definitely a win. It started to build volume right away, lengthen my lashes, no clumping, even after I let one eye dry and went back to it, still no clumping, so that's a definite, definite win. And then the last bit of info here, it says it's innovative formula, ultra black pigments, and it is a very, very dark. I'll come in again so that you can see how dark the mascara is. I would definitely say that is super black mascara. Um, long wear, flexible polymer for 24 hour, no flaking. Now, this is the second time wearing it and I did wear it a couple days ago. I didn't wear it for 24 hours straight, but I probably wore it for about, I don't know, eight or nine hours, maybe 10 hours, and there was no flaking throughout the day. So I can say that for sure. As far as flexibility, I mean, they're not super flexible, but they're not stiff and crunchy. I'm able to move them around. Nothing is flaking off. Um, but that being said, they are still holding a curl. So I'll come in one last time so you can see the curl. I did curl my eyelashes, but the weight of the mascara hasn't made it fall. It's kept it up, so there I am moving the lashes. So you can see they're movable. They're not super stiff. So my overall first impressions on this mascara are actually quite high. I mean, it's beautiful looking and it does great things for my lashes. It's probably one of my favorite mascaras at this point. I'm curious to see how it does as it starts to dry out because I've only used it twice, like I said, um, but I love the effect it's left on my lashes. So it's a definite win for me. It is a higher end brand, therefore it has a higher end price compared to drugstore mascaras. I believe it retails for around 30 to $35, depending on what country you live in. So you have to decide for yourself whether or not you can justify the cost of the mascara, but so far it claims to do, it does everything it claims to do. If you have any questions about this mascara or the program Influencer, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.